Greetings, Earthlings. Today, we embark on a fascinating journey through one of the universe's most intriguing mysteries, the Fermi Paradox. This paradox poses a simple yet profound question. With billions of stars in the galaxy, many of which could potentially host habitable planets, why haven't we found any evidence of extraterrestrial life? Join us as we explore the depths of this mystery and consider some compelling explanations. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is teeming with at least 100 billion planets. Given these numbers, it seems statistically improbable that Earth hosts the only life forms. This is the essence of the Fermi paradox, named after the brilliant physicist Enrico Fermi, who famously asked during a casual conversation, where is everybody? His question has echoed through the decades, challenging scientists and thinkers around the world. Fermi's question forces us to confront our assumptions. If advanced civilizations abound in the galaxy, why don't we see their influence or hear their signals? This absence continues to inspire research, suggesting that our theories about the prevalence of life and intelligence need more rigorous scrutiny. Fermi was not primarily a searcher of extraterrestrial life. His work focused on nuclear physics, but his simple query about extraterrestrial life has sparked intense scientific and philosophical debates. The 1970s brought the Fermi paradox into the spotlight, thanks to researchers like Michael Hart and Frank Tipler. They argued that if intelligent life were common in the galaxy, Earth would have already been visited by extraterrestrial civilizations. Their absence suggested to these scientists that intelligent extraterrestrial life might be exceedingly rare or non-existent. Hart and Tipler's work also laid the groundwork for an interdisciplinary approach, urging biologists, physicists, and other scientists to collaborate. They raised questions about how life might survive the harsh realities of space, stimulating new ways of thinking about the obstacles and challenges that could inhibit the growth of civilizations. Contrasting this view is the Drake Equation, developed by astronomer Frank Drake in 1961. This formula provides an estimate of the number of active, communicative extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way. The equation factors in the rate of star formation, the fraction of those stars with planets, the number of planets that could potentially support life, and several other variables. The results can vary widely, suggesting anywhere from thousands of civilizations to none. Though the Drake equation remains theoretical, its legacy has driven astrobiological research. Newer research and observations continue to refine its parameters, providing more accurate estimates as telescopes and satellites uncover thousands of exoplanets. As we collect data, the likelihood of finding a civilization grows, offering optimism amid uncertainty. The launch of space telescopes like Kepler and TESS has revolutionized our understanding of exoplanets. These missions have identified thousands of planets outside our solar system, many of which lie in the habitable zone of their stars where conditions might be right for life to exist. The diversity of these planets is staggering, ranging from gas giants to Earth-like worlds with liquid water. Our understanding of exoplanets reveals an ever-expanding range of environments that could nurture life. However, finding habitable planets is only the first step. The next challenge lies in detecting biosignatures that could confirm life's presence. Despite these exciting discoveries, direct evidence of life, let alone intelligent life, has remained elusive. This brings us to the concept of the Great Filters. This theory suggests that while microbial life might be common, the evolutionary steps leading to intelligent life are extremely rare and fraught with barriers that prevent the emergence or long-term survival of advanced civilizations. One potential filter might be the transition from simple to complex life. Another might be the self-destructive tendencies that could arise from technological advancements, such as nuclear proliferation or environmental degradation. Whatever the barriers are, they could explain why advanced life remains rare, despite the galaxy's immense size. The zoo hypothesis offers another intriguing explanation. Perhaps extraterrestrial civilizations are deliberately avoiding contact with Earth, observing us from a distance like animals in a zoo, to avoid influencing our natural development. A darker variant is the dark forest theory, inspired by Liu Tixin's science fiction. 
It suggests that the universe is like a dark forest where every civilization stays hidden to avoid being hunted by more advanced predatory civilizations. In this context, broadcasting our presence might be dangerous. In both theories, the implications are significant. If extraterrestrial civilizations are monitoring us, or if they're hiding to ensure their survival, our efforts to detect them may be futile. Our actions could either be irrelevant to them or might reveal us as potential threats, requiring caution in how we proceed. Another possibility is that we simply lack the technological capability to detect signs of intelligent life. Our radio telescopes and other sensors might not be sensitive enough, or we might not recognize the forms of communication used by extraterrestrial beings. Moreover, any civilization capable of interstellar travel might have mastered communication methods beyond our comprehension. Whether through faster-than-light transmissions or using unknown particles, these signals might bypass our current detection entirely. The Breakthrough Listen Initiative and other projects aim to fill these gaps. The search for extraterrestrial life is more than just a scientific endeavor. It's a profound exploration of our place in the universe. Each new discovery brings us closer to answering the tantalizing question, are we alone? While the Fermi paradox may not be solved completely today, our journey through the cosmos continues to inspire and challenge us. Stay tuned as we keep searching the stars, pondering over what mysteries they may hold.